Hello and welcome back. My name is Lexi Chong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And I have my Lisa Eldridge order here. So we're gonna go ahead and go through everything that I picked up and we're going to do lip and arm swatches as well. Now I already have all of Lisa Eldridge's lipsticks from her previous launches, except for Go Lightly. It's the one that I'm missing. I was really hoping that was coming back this time but it came back as a gloss, so I do have the gloss now. However, if you're interested in seeing swatches of any of the previously released colors, please take a look at the video for that. I will link that here and leave it down below in the description box so you can find that. One of the things Lisa Eldridge did a little differently this year is she had a create your own kit option. So usually she has a kit option where you get three lipsticks in one of these velour bags, and I think last year the red and the blue were available. This year they brought back some others. So there's the red, the blue, the canvas aqua bag that came out the first year. And then that was also back last year, by the way. There's a green, which I believe was new, at least I didn't have it. And then this new floral bag. So you could create your own kit by picking three items and it was either a gloss or lipstick. The lip pencils were not available in one of the create your own kits, and then you get a bag as well. Now, any of the lip kits with a lip pencil, it comes with a gloss, a pencil, and a lipstick, all in the same color in one of these floral kits. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the Lisa Eldridge pre-order, basically she tells us the time Everybody kind of goes on and rushes to get what they want. It's, you know, honestly, I wish everybody didn't rush, but unfortunately, since she only releases new items once a year, it, that's just how it works out. But she does her best to make sure everybody has, you know, gets what they want and there's plenty of stock available. So things don't really necessarily sell out immediately. However, certain shades might sell out sooner than others. And I have to say Lisa Eldridge's customer service, I have always had excellent customer service and very fast shipping from them. So when you do the pre-order, it tells you your orders will not ship until X date. And then they do. Like I was actually surprised that my order came. I had just gotten my shipping email with the tracking number at like eight o'clock the night before. And then my mailman, he brought this up to me. I was outside at the time and he brought it over and I was like, what, what is this? It says James and James is like, I don't know what this could be. And I opened it up and I literally gasped because I was so surprised. I honestly expected it to come much later than it did. Let's go ahead and see what I picked up. And what happened was I couldn't decide exactly what to get. I had my cart ready. I was all set to check out. And then one of the things that I really wanted, and I can't remember what it was, oh, it was the Ribbon Lip Gloss. And Ribbon is one of my favorite red lipsticks, so I really wanted the lip gloss. It sold out, and then I had to get a lip kit. <laughs> so I got a lip kit that has the pencil, the gloss, and the lipstick. Now I already have the lipstick, so I figure I'll put the, lip, the Ribbon lipstick that is brand new in my pile for my next giveaway. So let's take a look. Each of these velour bags, they do have the Lisa Eldridge logo on here. There is, dropping things already. There's tissue paper inside with your free products. We're gonna start off with the lip pencils. And I have been testing out the gloss for a couple of days now, but I haven't tried the lip pencils. I didn't try any of the new lipsticks either. We're gonna start off with hand and arm swatches. So. This is one of the new shades. This is blush. And we're gonna do the pencils here. I have a little bit of sparkle on my hand. I just finished filming the Guerlain Holiday and I removed everything, but you know how sparkly stuff can be. So this is it, and this is a pencil that you just, you know, sharpen. And personally, I like lip pencils like that. It's easier to get a nice strong point. This is made in Germany, it has a 24 month shelf life. And I have to say it's nice, this cap is a little bit more substantial than I expected and it goes on very smoothly. So I'm excited to try this one out. 
And again, this is one of the new shades blush and I purchased a lip kit for this, which is why I have the pencil. So I also have the matching gloss and lipstick. This is the ribbon lip pencil. And just a note, these lip pencils do not come with a sharpener. So this is ribbon and you can see it's like a fuchsia based red, but the pencil itself is really more of a bright fuchsia. Just for comparison, I'm taking out the ribbon lipstick. Just swatch that right here. So here's the lipstick, here's the pencil. And let's swatch the gloss with that as well. So here's the velvet ribbon gloss. There's the gloss. So you can see that they all really do stay pretty true to the same shade. So here is the blush lip gloss. That's a really pretty color. I think that's one that I will probably wear quite a bit. And here is the velvet blush lipstick. So look how beautiful her lipstick bullets are before you use them. I love that velvet appearance. So here's the lipstick. And you can see it really does have a velvet appearance. And we're gonna start swatching everything on here. So we're gonna re-swatch these. This is the Velvet Blush Lipstick. Another new shade is Velvet Affair. Let's see, we'll make this side darker. That side's more sheer. Then we have a Velvet Dragon, which is gonna be more of like an orangey red shade. I wasn't sure how this would look on me, but it looked too pretty not to try. Okay, I have to say my bullet is actually broken. I didn't realize it's not sitting in the base. So that's unfortunate. And then we have Velvet Carnival. Look at that. I almost didn't pick this one up either. I couldn't decide because it's not really a color I wear too often, but her bright pinks that she has actually look surprisingly nice on me. So I decided might as well try it. It actually looked more purple online, but here it really looks a lot brighter and this sheared out shade looks really nice. So these are the four new lipstick shades. Again, we have blush, then a fair, dragon and carnival. Let's take a look at the glosses. We're going to start off with muse and I have been using this one quite a bit. Let me swatch that better. There we go. Go to ribbon. This one is blush. Here's Beauty. This one is Myth. Wow, okay, I really like that. And then we have Go Lightly. One more time for all the swatches. We have Velvet Blush, Velvet Affair, Velvet Dragon, Velvet Carnival. For the glosses, we have Muse, Ribbon, Blush, Beauty, Myth, Go Lightly. Let's go ahead and try these on the lips. We're first gonna start off with the lip pencils. So this is Blush. This is the lip pencil in blush. While we have it on, we're gonna go ahead and put the gloss on top. And this is the lip pencil in ribbon. Here is the ribbon gloss on top of the pencil. Then 
gonna move on to lip glosses and we're gonna go lighter to darker, starting off with Go Lightly. This is Go Lightly. This is Blush. Muse. Beauty. Ribbon. Myth. Velvet Blush. Velvet Affair. Velvet Dragon. Velvet Carnival. And I'm just gonna show you this with one because my lips are getting a little rough, but you can apply it lightly. If you don't want full pigment, just pat it on. And you can have a less pigmented stain and topping these with a gloss works really well also. So on my lips right now, this is Velvet Blush as a stain. I'm just gonna to top it with the blush gloss. This is the Velvet Blush Lipstick as a stain with the blush gloss on top. Now, as for my thoughts on these products, first of all, I wanna go in and say that Lisa Eldridge really puts a lot of thought into her products and the colors that she creates. One of the things that I love about her lipsticks is the complex undertones that she uses in all of her lipsticks. Instead of just having a simple blue base or a more yellow tone base, she actually mixes different colors, which helps make her products a little bit more wearable for a wider variety of skin tones. And I really like that. Aside from just wearability, it also gives each of these shades a little complex something extra that you can't really tell what it is. So when somebody has on a Lisa Eldridge lipstick, you can kind of tell that that's what it is just because of those undertones. Aside from the undertones, they obviously have that gorgeous velvet finish as well. I also really liked her original like formula that was like the satin formula or whatever, the shine. I really like those. I hope she'll come back with more of those in the future, but we'll see. Let's start off with the lip pencils. I actually really like these lip pencils a lot. I'll have to see how they wear over time and if they dry out or anything quickly but they are super smooth going on. And I really like not only the colors, but just the formula itself. It just glides on so nicely, so smoothly. There's no tugging. And I love the actual formula of these. So definitely I'll keep you guys updated as to how these wear over time and I'll let you know. Now, as for the lipsticks, I am familiar with her formula. I haven't tested these to see if they're any different, but they shouldn't be. They're just new shades. So overall, I find her velvet lipsticks to not be a drying product. So they are not drying. They're comfortable on the lips and I really enjoy them. They're one of the few matte lipsticks that I've really enjoyed until now. So I'm happy to pick up the new shades and out of these are the four new colors you know I think they're all pretty wearable but honestly the one I like the most is blush and that's gonna be the one that I wear the most and I really like them now let's discuss the gloss because that is a new product and I have tested it this is my third day wearing the glosses so I do have some thoughts on the actual formula first of all the formula is thick so it's a thick gloss but it's not sticky 
Being as thick as it is though, really does help with the longevity of the lip gloss. So I can go ahead and eat a meal and so forth and the longevity, the lip gloss is still there after my meal. So it stays on, I'd say longer than a regular average lip gloss, but not quite to the point of an average lipstick, but it's almost there. Without eating or drinking, obviously the gloss can remain on your lips for a much longer period of time. But under normal conditions, I was averaging about three hours or so before I felt the need to reapply with the gloss. And I love having that slip of a gloss on my lips. So I'm typically somebody who likes to reapply every couple hours. So three hours I thought was pretty good. The gloss has a gorgeous sheen. None of these are sparkly lip glosses and you can put these on in a thin layer and just get a sheer wash of color or apply them more thickly like I prefer. And honestly, the reason I prefer applying them more thickly is just because I find it more comfortable than a thin layer in general, but that's just how I feel about glosses in general. Now, as for feathering or bleeding of the lip glosses, I have not had any trouble with them at this point. However, I can see it being an issue. So I would recommend using a lip pencil and it's not really that I've had any migration to my skin, but just that it does start to look a little fuzzy around the lip line and I would prefer to have something a little bit sharper. So I do recommend wearing a lip liner, at least around the perimeter of your lips for the lip glosses. I personally like to do that with the lipsticks as well, but it's not technically necessary. One of the things you can do if you want a sharp point with the lipsticks is take a lip brush and line your lips with the lip brush using the lipstick so you have you know an exact match because it's really more about just making sure you get that precise line to look better but again they don't really bleed or feather so you don't technically have to use a lip pencil with them but i i personally prefer to and until this year, she didn't have any lip pencils and now you could have only gotten them in the lip kits. So I only have those two, but I was able to find some decent matches through Pat McGrath's lip pencils. So that is something to consider if you're looking for, you know, a specific shade to match a lipstick. Take a look at some other brands. I found Pat McGrath's to have pretty good color selection with these lipsticks. Overall, I'm very happy with my purchase and I love the new products. I did pick up a few other items that will be going into one or two different giveaways. I haven't really figured out how I'm doing that yet, but stay tuned. We will have those in the future. And I think, you know, Lisa Eldridge did a fantastic job. I'm very happy she came out with glosses and I hope she continues to expand her line and Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to get more than one big launch a year. And it's really not so much about the launch, but as to keeping the products in stock. Now she has done a good job and I believe there has already been a restock once things opened up, you know, after the pre-order date. So take a look. I will have links to everything down below, but she has said on her Instagram that the sweatshirts will be restocking. I think it's in five weeks from this point but perhaps some of the other products will be as well. So take a look at her Instagram. If you don't follow her already, please make sure you do that. If you're interested, it's at Lisa Eldridge Makeup. And again, I'll have everything listed down below in the description box. Now, one thing I would like to note, and if you haven't already checked out Not Fit for Print, she had a video on here and she kind of went over her experience ordering and this is kind of similar to an experience I had in the past and it is an international order. So just make sure that your credit card is aware that you are placing an international order or it will get canceled. So you either want to approve it in advance or, you know, whatever, but she had issues with it getting canceled and having a hard time getting her order to go through because especially right now with everything going on with COVID, the credit card companies have been a little bit more alert to fraud and they marked it down as fraud. That happened to me last year or the year before, I don't remember which, but I also had issues like that. So I now make sure to 
kind of pre-approve that with my credit card before ordering. So, so just, just a note, if you don't typically place international orders, you might wanna make sure that your credit card company is aware of what you are doing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified the next time I post a video. And thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon. Have a great day.